It's all happening. It's all happening. It's all happening. Welcome to Pimpy's Investment Chat, where we keep investment talk simple. And here's your host, Pimpy. What is going on out there, peeps? Oh, yeah, in case you haven't heard, it's all happening. Oh, yeah, it's all happening. I know many of you are wondering, go, what's happening? What the hell is happening? Well, people are getting their blessings and bonds are being exchanged and people are meeting in Reno. So let's go ahead and go over this because it's all happening. I always tell people, you ever seen that movie, The Wolf of Wall Street? Well, we got the wolves of the Dinar community, and you people need to be careful of them. So I was trying to figure out what the hell is going on, and somebody sent me a little video clip that I'm going to share with you here in just a second. And I want you guys to really pay attention to the wording that's being used. Before we get started, do me a favor, hit the thumbs up button. If you're not a subscriber, please do so, because when you do, it helps out the channel, and I certainly do appreciate it. If you're thinking about buying gold and silver, head on over to our friends at Miles Franklin. The link will be down below in the description. When you make your purchase, make sure you use promo code PIMPY, P-I-M-P-Y, and they'll take care of you. If you have any additional questions, you can reach us over here at this phone number or over here at this particular email. For all orders over $10,000, reach out by email and we'll make sure that you get a great deal. So come on over to Miles Franklin and add to your precious metal inventory. Let's see. Wolverine recorded a very emotional message saying this blessings arrived. Peter on QFS channel said elders have released payment. Well, the Wolverine has gotten some money. Mark Wolverine recorded a very emotional message saying his blessings have arrived. Has anybody been able to validate this? What blessings are you talking about? Because there's a lot of people that go to church and their blessings come every day. So what are we talking about specifically? Well, no, I'm pretty sure it's Wolverine without the S, but pretty close to it, has recorded this emotional message. Okay, so who the hell is Mark Wolverine? And God only knows what. Peter on the QFS channel said, elders, elders have released the payments. The Chinese elders, again, here we go. They make their uh, rounds every now and then. So Peter from the QFS channel. Okay, gosh, dang, this crap has gotten so way out of hand. But let's continue with Mark. Fest channel said elders have released payment. All right, I guess it's just time to dive in. <clears throat> There's a lot out there that it has started. A whole heck of a lot. The rumors are flying. The rumors is right. Exactly. That's exactly what it is, the rumors. And Mark has no problem with pushing them along. From Reno from Brazil. Not much coming out of Europe right now, and I don't know if that's just because of the time of day, uh, including some out of Asia today. Rumors are running around that they have been aggregating and finishing, and we may have our first current. Good Lord, they're coming out in every continent. China, Europe, Brazil, Reno. And just so you know, scammers use Reno as a place for redemption, just so you are aware. The person got paid today. I've got that from somebody who knows the person personally that got paid. I do not know the person personally, so I cannot verify it 100%. Wow, what are the odds of that? Mark, you can't verify it, but you do know a person of a person of a person. You mean you know a dude who knows a dude who plays a dude? Is that what you're trying to say? But I feel very confident in the person that said, yes, one of my friends, real life friends, just got paid today on currency. That would be huge because I don't think they've seen Mr. C. So it could be the bank stepping out a little ahead. Mr. C, I guess he didn't give his blessings. Is that what you're saying? A number of bond Think twice. I know it's going to get taken all over the boards and out of context, and they're going to screw so much up. And that's not me picking on PDK or anybody else. I just know how this works. They've got to shorten everything and throw no context. I do have a number of bond contacts. What kind of bond? You just keep saying bonds. Be specific. Or is there a reason why you're not being specific? They got some preliminaries. They call them test deposits. They are expecting their full payment. Uh, this week. So for me, that is probably as an individual, that is probably the most exciting thing I've seen. I've seen facilitators get some money and I have seen some uh, at this point verified some folks that have bonds tied up in platforms receive some just for humanitarian to get things started and positioned. 
So Mark is saying that he's actually saw these people get paid. Keep that in mind because if it comes back to bite him in the ass, this could be used against him in court. I'm just throwing that out there. Mark should be careful. He's claiming he firsthand witnessed people getting paid. Okay. Before the release, this will be the first time an individual that I can track and feel confident saying has received any dollars. Not much. Um, call them test deposits, call it whatever, but this is the first real. Call it bullshit. How about that? Movement on that front that I have seen that I'm warm and fuzzy about, and that's what has me excited. Warm and fuzzy, and that's what's got you excited. You need to get out more often, my brother. And specifically getting um, out of Reno and one other area. There's no place in Reno, you guys. Reno is a place that scammers use, just so you understand. Specifically mentioning they aggregated their Zim today, because Zim has always been a bit of an outlier for me. You know, I keep telling, I keep hearing it's real for me. I was like, you know, I'm going to buy it because the risk reward just makes sense. And what type of Zim are we talking about? Why aren't you being specific there, Mark? This is why they get you guys going. They'll say, well, you know, these bonds are flying around. Which bonds? Well, these Zim dollars are, uh, okay, what Zim dollars? Which ones? Because everything up to the most current ones are obsolete. And I don't want to hear these ones are bonds. And that's why they have to honor them. I already showed you guys that these ones have been expired. I took you to the Central Bank of Zimbabwe. Their website told everybody that those are expired and are no longer any good. They specifically put out a report on that. When a currency does a re-denomination and they remove the zeros and they release new banknotes, guess what? The old banknotes are no longer any good. I've been preaching about that when it comes to Zim dollars and if it happens to the Iraqi dinars. But these people are just going to keep pulling your guys' leg because you're sucker enough to go along with it. But this is why they're very vague in their comments. Well, these Zim dollars, what Zim dollars, Mark? Which ones are you talking about? Because you've been bullshitting people for a long time, decades. Um, that one has me very excited uh, on Zim that they were aggregating that for release within a few days. They were specifically told within a few days. And that is coming from more than one source. Whoa, one source. I can't tell you who because they're secret. So more than one source is telling him that Zim dollars are being aggregated. Okay. Uh, so I feel pretty fuzzy about that. We've got a lot of other things breaking loose today, and we'll get into that before I do anything else. Philanthropic, and I've not talked to Mike today. I love how all these people are doing this and that, or they're witnessing. You see, for the people claiming outright that they got their blessing, Show us proof. You can show us deposits. You can just cross out the names. You can show us deposits. What kind of blessings are you talking about? Do you go to church and eat a waffle and drink some wine and they just put a cross on you? Those types of blessings? Which ones are you talking about? Reading a few of these. I'll get back to it. Dusty, I think you're going to get your new truck soon. I hope so. God knows. Guys, do not, though. Do not put all your bags in this. Do not make any stupid decisions. Oh, there you go. There goes the disclaimer. Just how you know it's bullshit. Uh, the news on this front can turn on a dime. I feel like we've been here before. Really? Probably every single year for the past 20 years. But I do feel like this is, I'm just saying, stay calm. See how this thing plays out. Yeah, I agree. So get everybody all hyped up and just throw a disclaimer out there that you're telling everybody, hey, I told everybody to let it play out. Stay calm. Stay grounded. My, You know, the thing is with Mark... Like I said, he might be a cool guy. I don't know. But Mark and Mr. C have been pushing shit on people now for a long, long time. It'd be one thing if you didn't know these things about them, but it'd be different if they were legit. Look, you guys, there's shit going all the way back for early 2000s. These guys were involved in all kinds of crap. Mr. C and Mark Z and United States versus this, what is this, the Shin Company? Yeah, this, you just got to look this up yourself. It's too much to read and go over. I was going to make a video. Mike Contrell versus Del Delmarva Tr Timber Trust. Oh, you guys, yeah. Look at this. You have to really get into this. There is one thing after another after another. I'd be more than happy to leave a link for you guys to come to this stuff so you can read this on your own. So you get an understanding of the people you're dealing with. Mike C. Cottrell, Esquire? That's interesting. Mike Cottrell here. So 
So why don't you guys ask Mark about the CMKM Diamonds, Inc. See what he says about that. So this was crap that was happening before people had access to YouTube. So here you go. Are you ready for the whole Chinese elders and spiritual white boy BS? Said on the morning of Tuesday the 9th, August 2011, a swift notice transfer of world global settlement payments. So what they do is they take names that are close to something that actually exists. All right. Stuff like the, the world global settlement. There's something very similar along that name. And he gets into this. Here's their one attorney, Al Clifton Hodges. But we'll get down here to all the fun stuff. Clifton Hodges is counsel for Mike C. Cottrell. Cottrell is in charge of the 10 trillion plus U.S. dollar refunding project and is a WGFS basal list payee. First of all, there is no WGSF basal list payee that's made up. The USDRP, like the official Iraqi Dinar Revaluation Project. So you see, before there was YouTube, we had the Iraqi Dinar Revaluation Project. It's part of the World Global Settlement Refinancing Program. This is all bullshit. They use real court papers to sue people. But then when it got to the judges, the judges were like, what in the hell's tarnation is all this crap? And they were talking about how they would just file these frivolous lawsuits. But what they would do is use the lawsuits, at least the court papers that they actually filed, to show to people to run this long ongoing scam that was going on. It was terrible. Yeah, you guys can come read this yourself. There it is, the Iraqi Dinar Revaluation Project. Ask Mark, how come you don't call it the Iraqi Dinar Revaluation? <laughs> and this person lays it all out. Good Lord, man, this thing's all in here. And this kind of crap is what makes the Iraqi Dinar always associated with scams. On this page, we deal with the World Global Settlement Funds. At the top here, lower down on the page, we offer some background comments about the related Iraqi Dinar revaluation story. Okay. And you can see Mr. C is involved with this as well. Ask whatever happened to the Iraqi Dinar revaluation project. See, back then you only had like chat groups. That was it. Message from Mark Z and Mike Cottrell. And this is posted by the Sweet Queen. Okay. She says, if I can have your attention for just a few minutes, I'd like to post what Mark Z sent to everybody. Mark Z, I received the following message from my client. My client? Mike Contrell. So apparently, Michael Contrell for one reason or another, was a client of Mr. Z. And down here, he just goes on to swear in an affidavit, you know, that he's got ongoing problems, that everything he's talking about is legit, so it can make it look all official, and they can continue to just run whatever scam they had going on. They use names like the Gold Treaty, the Iraqi Re Revaluation Project. You guys really have to be careful about who you're listening to and the people you're dealing with. Like I said, I'll leave a link down here so you guys can go check this all out on your own. Apparently, Mike Cottrell is getting a little pissy. Well, ask Mark Z. Mike Cottrell was his client. We all want the same thing. And people want this really bad because you guys want it so damn bad that these people could take advantage of you. You guys become easy targets for wolves like this. You really do. They know how desperate you are. They know you listen to the bullshit that they'll feed you. My contacts, Mr. C is going to come talk to you. It's funny how in the beginning they weren't using their names and now they go to Mark Z and all this stuff like this. This way they can go, that wasn't me, that wasn't me. Yeah, well, how many, t how many other people out there you know is Mark Z and is affiliated with somebody called Mike Cottrell? Those are things that were posted in chat groups. So why don't you guys ask Mark about that because... He's involved with the CMKX or whatever the hell it is, diamond scam, the, the lumber trusting. I mean, you guys could just go read it for yourself. I'll leave you the links. Go check it out. Like I said, you got to be careful with uh, who you're really listening to. And now you got Mark C talking about, hey, everybody, there's so many rumors going around. Yeah, we know you feed into them. 
<clears throat> and he knows now this time he's saying he personally knows a person who got paid. We heard that. You know, Mark's gotta be very careful because some of these things are liable. He's hurting. And he and, and he also said, I know people. I know people that got paid. I know people that's gotten this. So Mark, where is your proof? And I don't want to hear, oh, I told everybody, you know, just calm down and let's verify it and all this other crap. Well, then why don't you go verify it before you tell your people this? Just don't spread the rumors and get everybody all excited. This is how people end up depressed and killing themselves because you get them all hyped up. Why don't you verify, validate your information first and then share it? You know why you won't do that? Because you won't get as many subscribers or views by being cautious. You'd rather spread the rumors around, just like all these other content creators, instead of verifying it. It's all bullshit, man. And you guys give the Iraqi Dinar investment a really, really bad name. Anyways, that's it for now. I just thought I'd let you guys know what's going on because many people are asking about it. I'll get back at you later. I'm out.